A recent change to manicures and pedicures across the pond has some nail technicians and their clients wondering if Canada ought to follow suit in order to protect their health. Earlier this month, the Union, European Union banned trimethyl benzoyl diphenylphosphine oxide, or TPO, a key ingredient in gel manicures. What do we know about it? It's a high production volume chemical. It's used in many applications. But what we know is that it is a suspected reproductive toxicant. So specifically, it's been tested in animals. The fetus of the mom who was exposed can develop malformations in the spine. So it can cause malformation of the spinal cord and hence the concern. The TPO has a relatively low risk profile. So what I mean by that is that it doesn't get into the air, it doesn't pass through the skin readily. So there's a very low chance of the consumer being affected. Mm. But it's reasonable that the European Union has restricted it because there is concern for nail salon workers. Mm. So when I go into a nail salon, what I'm concerned about is not just myself, I'm concerned about the nail salon mm. workers, and I'm concerned about the people who manufacture the products that are used. Do you think Canada ought to follow its example and, and, and restrict or, or ban this product? I think that Canada should take note. The European Un Union bans chemicals that could be carcinogenic, mutagenic, or a reproductive toxicant, as is the case of TPO that could be. So the European Union does not need to demonstrate that exposure is high enough for a harm to occur. In contrast, in Canada, the authorities require evidence or a strong indication that exposures will be high enough to cause harm. But here's the problem with that approach. That approach doesn't account for all exposure scenarios, such as, for example, nail salon workers. That approach also doesn't account for the harms during production. So I think it's precautionary to reduce or try to eliminate the use of TPO in consumer products, such as in nail glosses. 